Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Bright. I'll be watching another Epic Amazing Awesome episode of the Unboxing Authority. I got my work hat on today. Um, so we are going to be fixing and maintaining the TRS Striker. That's the TRS Striker. They don't make these anymore. They're like 50 or 60 bucks now. So if you buy them through uh, eBay or Amazon. I want to tell you guys that TRS Striker knife is the fastest pocket knife in the world, okay? But if you want to see something that is really fast, I want you guys to go check out the Blazing Hogs 4G LTE, soon to be 5G LTE internet. It is the fastest mobile internet on the market. Okay, for under $99.99 a month that I'm aware of. Uh, their competitors are somewhere around $170 a month. So if you want to be off the grid, able to go where you want to, or not be locked down and be registered on the internet as, as you, um, then you want to get 4G LTE Blazing Hog Internet up to 150 megabits per second down and 20, I'm sorry, 50 megabits per second up. Personally in town, we get about 71 megabits per second down at the best locations and over 21 megabits per second up, which is great for streaming and uploading YouTube videos. It actually uh, is faster than YouTube will allow you to upload. So you only use five to 10 megabits per second to upload to YouTube, okay? So that leaves you with another 10 to 15 megabits per second to just do whatever you want to on your network. You can game and stream live video at the same time. And it's unthrottled and unlimited unlike other providers, okay? There are other people out there on the internet and they're selling 22 gigabyte uh, cell phone plans and they shut off at 22 gigabytes and then they're throttled after that. This is unthrottled, unlimited internet. I've used over 250 gigabytes of data in a month and haven't had any issues. So make sure you check them out. They're the real deal, okay? I don't th they think you're gonna find a lower price anywhere else on the internet. Believe me, I looked. I've been looking for a long time. So, you get $49.99 off when you use the coupon code in the description of this video, but you have to call that phone number. Don't call the phone number on the Blazing Hog website. Call the phone number in the description of this video, okay? And you'll get $49.99 off your, your order when you use the coupon code. All right, God bless you. Okay, I predicted when I first uh, reviewed this knife, well, it needs to be cleaned a little bit here, or no, it's just wearing off, just the, the coating's wearing off, but that's fine. Um, I predicted that when I first started reviewing this, that this handle right here would come loose. And it finally has. It took a long time. I think it's been almost a year since I reviewed this thing and got it in the mail. Well, I gave these away for Christmas, but I think I, think I ordered them quite a few months back before that. So anyways, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be fixing this. And it seems that... All of the screws are staying in place except, well, no, now they're all wiggling. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew these. We're going to put some Loctite on them, and we're going to put them back in, and it should be as good as new. All right, so I tried all the tools that I have, and none of them would work on this, so I had to use my cell phone repair tool kit. There should be a link down in the description of the video. I got this for free to review a long time ago, and this bit right here that says it's number seven, and there's two number sevens in here and two eights and two nines, they duplicated. So there's, there's like two of each size, it looks like. Um, on Yeah, it looks like on all the sizes. And so we're going to try this on here. And later I'm going to do some testing to see if I can use these as a game bit on a Super Nintendo. But um, anyways, so what we're going to do is we're just going to start by removing these because we have to put Loctite on them. Look how easy they come out. They're not tight at all. And uh, that's a clear indicator of our problem. If I just tighten these up, they'll continue to wiggle around, and sooner or later, they'll just fall out, and I won't even know where the screws are. So, the heads on this are starred out, so regular Allen wrench, um, or hex wrench, just won't work. Now, these already had Loctite on them, that's why they lasted so long, I just noticed that, see? You can see right here, the blue on there, they already have Loctite. Now, um, I'm doing this indoors today. Um, on the porch because it's so it's too cold to go out in my video studio because I need help 
on Patreon to get my video studio fixed because right now it's like it was 20 degrees when I woke up today outside Fahrenheit so it's pretty cold. Alright so what we want to do here is we want to apply more um, Loctite on here and this Loctite doesn't like to play nice. It doesn't like to uh, just squeeze out of the tip, so I have to take the whole top off. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a Q-tip here to grab some of the Loctite. And it looks like it maybe needs to shook up some more, I'm not sure. Because it's like it's, it's separated, because there's some of it that's really solid, and some of it that's really fluid. And that's a freezer running. Alright, so I'm going to put this on each of these screws. and give them some time to set up because Loctite doesn't always set up right away like it's advertised, okay? I know there's people who have taken classes on Loctite, Loctite and they're, like, they're, uh, they're experts in Loctite and I guess they're Loctite salesmen or something and the thing is Loctite, oh this is magnetic, sweet. Loctite does not always set up as fast as it's advertised. All right, so that's on there tight. It's not moving. Now, Loctite is anaerobic, so what it's supposed to do is set up as soon as there's no oxygen. So this is supposed to be set up right now. And there's a little bit on the surface. You just wipe that off with my finger. You probably shouldn't. You probably should wipe it off with something else. Don't get it on yourself. Okay, so that seems to be working just fine. I It's already really solid. I'm not worried about it. Now, what else could I do with this knife? Well, if I wanted to, I could have taken this off and painted it black because it's wearing off. Um, but I'm just going to keep this how it was, stock, and we'll see how long it lasts. Um, it looks like the knife blade might need to be sharpened again. Somebody uh, complained about this knife saying that the blades are made in China, and they are. But I have not found another uh, knife quite like these that has the pocket hook. There are other ones that have this button here, but not the pocket hook. And if you remember... Uh, in the original video, I uh, pulled this out of my pocket so fast and it opened so fast that the camera could not capture, in 30 frames per second, could not capture the blade moving. It was just open instantly in under 30 frames per second. So anyway, so that's under a, a 30th of a second, this thing goes from here to being fully open. So at least for me. So this is all cleaned up on the outside. So I'm just going to stick it back in my pocket and it should be just fine. All right, so I tried using a 4.5 in here because that's what they say you're supposed to use as a game bit for Super Nintendo, but I ended up putting the four in here and there's two fours, so if one gets stripped out, I've got another one because they put two of everything in this kit, which is great, except you get one screwdriver. Um, and so if you push really, really hard, you can get this to work on these screws. You've got to keep constant pressure though because they don't fit perfectly on the these screws. But it does work in a pinch as a game bit, okay? And since I don't have a game bit and I do have this, this is free. I don't have to buy game bit. I, I've just unscrewed that screw. I've never had this Super Nintendo apart before, so this should be interesting. All right, well, thanks so much for watching the video. This is on how to do the maintenance on the TR Striker, and we also discovered that our uh, cell phone kit bit system works on the Super Nintendo, which is great, so we can do a Super Nintendo cleaning triage video here in a minute and see what we got there. I probably should go get some electronics cleaner so we can start working on that. Had no idea I was gonna be able to work on it today. Did not know this cell phone kit was gonna be able to open the Super Nintendo. So it's very exciting. Um, I think I might have stripped out one of the bits, maybe, possibly. It doesn't look stripped out. I, I'm not sure. But I did get the Super Nintendo open. And it'd be cool if we could replace it with some Phillips head screws or, screws or something when we're done. Maybe I can go find some. But, uh, alright. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below 
my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call or call or email me directly with your service name and address and contact information like a telephone number and an email address. Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son.